the extraordinary United Arab Islic Summit voted to cut all ties with Israel in its final statements. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we're going to tell you Islamic nations cut off all the ties with Israel. The exceptional joint Arab Islamic Summit, which concluded today in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, condemns Israeli aggression against the Gaza Strip, as well as the colonial occupation government's war crimes and massacres against the Palestinian people in the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem. The statement urges that all aggression cease immediately. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. The statement opposes labeling this retaliatory war as self-defense or justifying it under any It asks for the lifting of the siege on Gaza and the urgent admission of Arab, Islamic, and international humanitarian aid convoys carrying food, medicine, and gasoline into the Gaza Strip. It requests that foreign organizations participate in this process and that assistance personnel be protected so that they can completely perform their duties. It also requests assistance for the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees. The Arab Republic of Egypt's efforts to provide relief into Gaza in an immediate, durable, and adequate way are supported in the final statement. The statement calls on the United Nations Security Council to issue a decisive and binding decision that puts an end to the aggression and limits the colonial occupation authorities' violations of international laws and legal decisions. The statement further urges all countries to refrain from selling weapons and ammunition to the occupation authorities, which are used by their army and terrorist settlers to murder Palestinians and destroy their homes, hospitals, schools, mosques, churches, and infrastructure. The final statement urges the Security Council to take an immediate decision condemning the barbaric Israeli occupation forces' destruction of hospitals in Gaza their refusal to deliver medicine, food, and fuel to them, and their disruption of electricity, water, and basic services, including communication and internet services. According to the statement, this is collective punishment, which is a war crime under international law. It goes on to say that the resolution should demand Israel, as the occupying authority, to follow international laws and resolutions and to immediately end these violent and inhumane tactics. According to the statement, the UN Security Council's reluctance to act constitutes complicity, allowing Israel to continue its horrific onslaught, which murders innocent children, the elderly and women, and destroys Gaza. The statement also emphasizes the importance of lifting the siege that Israel has imposed on Gaza for years. The final statement further urges the International Criminal Court's prosecutor to complete the investigation into Israel's war crimes and crimes against humanity committed against the Palestinian people in all occupied Palestinian lands, including East Jerusalem. This statement further emphasizes the significance of supporting the State of Palestine's legal and political actions to hold Israeli occupation authorities accountable for their crimes against the Palestinian people. These measures should incorporate the International Court of Justice's advisory opinion process. According to the statement, the Human Rights Council decision that established the committee to investigate these crimes must not be impeded. The statement requests that the Arab League and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or Secretariats, establish two media monitoring units to document the occupation authority's crimes against the Palestinian people and to create digital media platforms to publish and expose these illegal, inhumane practices. The statement directs the Foreign Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as Chair of the Islamic and Arab Summit. In collaboration with the Foreign Ministers of Jordan, Egypt, Qatar, Turkey, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Palestine, as well as any other interested countries, and the Secretaries General of the two organizations to launch immediate international action on behalf of all OEC and League member states to end the war in Gaza and exert pressure on Israel. The statement urges OSEC and League member nations to apply diplomatic, political, and legal pressure, as well as take any deterrent measures to put an end to the Colonial Occupation Authority's crimes against humanity. The statement condemns the use of double standards in the implementation of international law, 
noting that it significantly weakens the credibility of the states that insulate Israel from international law, as well as the legitimacy of multilateral action. It claims that this reveals selectivity in the application of the human value system and emphasizes that double standards will damage the stances of Arab and Islamic countries, resulting in a schism between civilizations and cultures. The final statement further condemns the displacement of about 1.5 million Palestinians from the north to the south of the Gaza Strip as a war crime under the Fourth Geneva Convention of 1949 and its 1977 It also condemns the assassination of journalists, children, and women, as well as the targeting of paramedics and the use of internationally illegal white phosphorus in Israeli attacks on Gaza and Lebanon. It criticizes recurrent Israeli remarks and threats to return Lebanon to the Stone Age, and asks on the agreement's signatories to take a collective stand against such acts and statements. The statement calls on all United Nations organizations to oppose the colonial occupation authority's attempt to maintain this sad inhuman condition. It emphasizes the importance of relocating the displaced to their homes and communities as soon as possible, as well as preventing the violence from spreading. The final statement calls on all parties to reaffirm their commitment to peace as a strategic option to end Israeli occupation and to resolve the Arab-Israeli issue in line with international law and relevant international legislation, particularly Security Council resolutions. The statement emphasizes the importance of adhering to the 2002 Arab Peace Initiative in all of its parts and aims, as well as organizing an international peace conference. According to the statement, a meaningful peace process should be initiated as soon as feasible on the basis of international law, legitimate international resolutions, and the principle of land for peace. It states that this should be done within a specific time frame and with international guarantees, leading to the end of Israeli occupation of Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem, the occupied Syrian Golan, the Sheba farms, the Ka and the outskirts of the Lebanese town of Almari. The statement calls for the activation of the Arab and Islamic financial safety nets in accordance with the resolutions of the 14th session of the Islamic Summit Conference and the Arab Summit to give financial contributions to the government of the State of Palestine and UNRWA. It emphasizes the importance of mobilizing international allies to help rebuild Gaza and reduce the effects of the Israeli aggression. That's all for today's video. The statement directs the Secretary General of the League of Arab States and the Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to monitor the implementation of these resolutions and report back to their respective councils at the next session. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.